Hello everybody, in this particular video, I am going to discuss about how to get below 100 rank in GPAT exam. So, I am going to tell all important things. If you like this video, hit that smash that thumbs up button and make sure that share with your friends. So, first of all, lot of students think that getting 100 below 100 rank is a overnight success. No, we need to be understand reality behind this getting below 100 rank. So, if anyone gets the below 100 rank, means it is a, not a overnight success, it is a more than one or two years hard working. I think it is more than two years or one year, one and a half year hard work. So we need to be understand. So the student who is getting the below 100 rank, they should have minimum of some qualifications. What I'm going to mention because I, I'm, I'm mentioning this after seeing lot of students who get it below 100 rank. So what are those qualifications or the qualities you need to have to get the below 100 rank and what are the things you need to be follow or what are the strategies that you must follow to get the below 100 rank I am going to tell in this particular video. So and if you want to get the below 100 rank you should need to have minimum basics. If you have this basics of subject like if you see a lot of students want to get the below 100 rank okay if you not have basics about GPAT syllabus no problem but you get the you, you, you can qualify without basics also because coaching institute or lot of people will tell you and books also tell you you can get the some basics about it but if you want to get the below 100 rank you need to have good minimum basics that means you need to be understand for what is pharmaceutics and everything if you have complete basic knowledge of the topic core basic knowledge automatically it will help you to boost your GPAT preparation that enhances to chances to get the below 100 rank and you need to have hunger to learn that is another thing so a lot of students are having the hunger to learn initial days for example if you start today GPAT preparation you read very well tomorrow you read well and day after tomorrow you read well next day you don't you don't even open the book this is the thing I've seen with a lot of students okay in this uh, GPAT field I've seen a lot of students when they have so another thing also I will explain so you need to be if you want to get the below 100 rank you need to have strong mindset and strong decision capabilities what is meant by strong mindset and strong decision capability I will say I would like to tell for example in case of I would like to conduct webinars for GPAT and a lot of students also attend this webinar so when they attend they register for this webinar but after registering we add them to some whatsapp groups when we add them to whatsapp groups a lot of people left before joining the webinar so that means they don't have even strong mindset or strong decision capability to attend that so when they see an ad so they are exited and they registered but after that they don't want right this is the thing so a lot of people when they see in some videos or some motivation videos or some motivational thing about gps they want to crack but later on they don't want right so if you are the student like that it is not possible to get 100 rank and it's not even possible to get crack gps but if you have hunger to learn that hunger should have the consistency that means if you read today tomorrow you need to be read day after tomorrow you need to be read and the same thing will be complete or same thing will be repeated for next one or one and a half year then only you are able to get below 100 rank but i seen a lot of students want to get the rank but they don't have consistency or they don't have even strong mindset or strong capability to work hard so they want when they motivate but motivation go they don't want it right this is the mindset of the students i seen a lot of students like this so if you have consistency in GPA preparation automatically it will help you to get good rank so that consistency is very high then automatically you rank below 100 right and you have personal study plan okay if you join in any coaching institute or if you are studying by your own water it may be you should have personal study plan that personal study plan will have some uh, like uh, ra rationality that means if you study this topic what topic next you need to go what topic next you need to go so that means rationality is there don't start the random topics and random reading that will not help you so that means if you want to start preparation you need to have some rationality in the preparation and personal study plan that study plan also need to have clear cut and rationality so today if i read this tomorrow what i need to read so this kind of things you need to be read you need to have this and at least you need to be do revision of gpad syllabus four to five times no need to be read gpad syllabus complete elaborated manner but you need to be minimum have comprehensive overview okay this is the syllabus okay this is the thing we need to be read this is the thing we need to be read even touch so four to five times you need to be do minimum revision if you do minimum revision of four to five times then automatically you rank below 100 so a lot of people think that without revision i can get so no if you read also if you not have revision you not remember everything clearly so if you want to remember everything clearly 
then you need to be do four to five times revision in gpat exam what happen is they will ask the questions from the different topics which are minute so very very rare or something which are not important from that only the questions will came and you need to be solve previous year 35 question paper that means so if you want to get below 100 rank you need to be take all gpat year question papers up to know what are the questions came and after taking that you need to be solve those so if you solve those automatically you get some knowledge that knowledge will applicable for your improve your rank and at the same time you need to be understand what examiner wants from you. if you solve this previous year 35 years question paper and you need to be understand from year to year what is upgradation is happening and what is the examiner is requiring from you if you do this kind of analysis and if you do this kind of parametric studies automatically you get very good success may you get below 100 rank and covering all recent topics what came in the gpat exam you need to be take the previous year question paper and if you check that what are the previous recent changes and what are the typing change in the question asking pattern so if you do all this kind of thing automatically you get a good score in jpat exam so covering all recent topic and adjacent topic for example they ask the tab for example they ask the tablet in one question on tablet you need to be read the tablet excipient tablet coating and tablet disintegration like this if you read adjacent topics also that will help you to get very good rank in gpad if you are reading the topic what that came in the gpad exam okay that will help you to crack gpad exam but if you read the adjacent topics if they ask on the tablet you need to be read tablet coating tablet uh, manufacturing tablet defects tablet excipients like this if you read some adjacent topics or subtopics in this tablets or topic that automatically help you or that automatically enhances your knowledge and finally you may get below 100 rank i hope you understand these are some ways to get below 100 rank if you do this kind of preparation automatically you get below 100 rank and other thing that if you want to get below 100 rank you need to have the mindset that is strong not fragile kind of fragile kind of mindset thank you i hope you understand if you like this video make that smash that thumbs up button and share with your friends